California dreaming about you. Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today we are going to move on on our uh, Nova Launcher app, and we are going to um, finish off the moving of the apps around in the home screen because right now there are a couple of issues that we have to deal with. Um, the first of which is when we long click, click, we are able to duplicate this item and that's not meant to be. So if we long press release and click again, it will be duplicated. We don't want that. We want for this app to disappear and appear there. Um, another thing is, for example, if I put the camera there and I long click it and I press it again, it will uh, replace the app. Um, what I want is for, for the user not to be able to replace the app like that. Uh, the user must first remove this one, for example, and only then can he pick this one up and drop it there. Okay, so um, another thing that uh, we are able to do is to long press this camera, for example, and to press there and again it will change and that's not meant to happen so we must find a way to distinguish between apps that are on the home page and on the drawer and we'll use the object it will uh, create another function and um, argument for the the app object so that we can uh, mess around with it first of all we must fix two errors that uh, happened in the last lesson so let me come in here in the main activity Let's make all of these a bit bigger. Okay, and the first error happened here, I believe. Yeah, in here, in the initialized drawer, um, we had previously get application context, but we must have only this. Uh, otherwise, the context will be all screwed up and uh, an error, uh, fat a fatal error will appear. The next problem is in here, um, this return in the app adapter, this return must be set to true and not false, otherwise you won't be able to move the apps around. Okay, those are the two issues that we had in the previous lesson and make sure you fix them. It is extremely important, otherwise the app will crash or won't work because of this, fall, uh, this return. Okay, so um, now let's go into the app object and we are going to create uh, another variable which we'll call private boolean is app in drawer let's call it that so that everyone can understand it fairly easily oops okay let's add this to our constructor okay and say this dot is app in drawer just like we did before to every other uh, variable so now let's create a, a getter for this is app in drawer so is app in drawer it is of the type boolean don't forget to change that is app in drawer okay and a setter again uh, the same logic applies Is app in drawer again. Okay, collapse that to make it a bit tidier. And now we can move on to the main activity. And we won't get out of the main activity till the end of the, the lesson. So the first thing that we have to do is to update all of these app objects because now we have yet another argument in our constructor. Uh, so uh, in the case of the initialized home, we are just going to add false at the end. And it is false because, well, we are in the home screen, so the app isn't in the drawer. And let's do the same thing for the others. Okay. Now we have to deal with the uh, get installed app lists because this get installed app list is used by the, um, let me just check, the initialized drawer function. So these are the, the apps that are going to the, the drawer function, the drawer, better yet. So we set the final argument to true because the app is in fact in the drawer. Okay, so now we can go into the item press and item long press uh, because that's where all of the magic happens per se. So the first thing that we are going to do is to make a check to make sure that we aren't able to move an app on top of another. 
okay? And to do that is fairly simple, you just make an if and app drag, different from null. So the user is in the process of dragging an app and app.getName dot equals um, this so the user isn't trying to move the app into an empty, an empty space so this will this if will only be triggered anytime we move into another app and not when we move into this uh, space for example and when we are moving that's really important that's why we have this m app uh, drag different from null then we'll simply create a toast telling the user of what happened so make text this comma cell already occupied yeah we can call it that let's set the toast length to short and uh, show i believe it is show yeah not make so dot show and this will show a toast which is just a, a simple message for the user to to know what happened and how we can combat that okay um, next up, we are going to come into if m app drag different from no, but we are going to add another thing into this if. So we are going to say and not app dot get this app in drawer, and this will make so that we are only able to change the the cell when we are in the home screen. So uh, with this if now. We won't be able to grab this camera, for example, and place it in the drawer as we are able to do now. So it is an updating, but there's no problem. I proved that it happened in here. So yeah, this is all that this if is doing. Okay. And now the, the last thing that you have to do is to actually erase the, the, app, the, the, the app anytime we click this, for example, and we move into an an empty space we aren't meant for the, the app to be duplicated we just want uh, the app to move there okay so let's say if not m app drag dot get app is in drawer so we make this if to make sure that uh, we aren't erasing the app that's in the drawer because that will defeat the purpose and we'll end up with a, an empty drawer by the end of the of the day basically and i'm going to move this below okay if m app drag is not in the drawer that means that we have to erase it and so we are just simply going i'm going simply going to grab all of this so grab this and copy the end drag here that's easier then we simply erase it so I'm going to place the double quotes empty empty quotes on, on all of this uh, except for the image the image I'm going to grab the resources that we have here but I'll you are free to get an empty image or something transparent so that you can place it in here as a placeholder okay and then we must also set the mf drag dot set is that in drawer to false because obviously we are only uh, erasing the apps that are not in the drawer and we are going to do the same line in here okay and that's it i mean there's nothing else left to do let's just uh, run the app and see if uh, all of this works okay so here we are let's just start testing around and see if we can okay we place the clock now let's test for moving the clock around. I'm going to long press it, move it here, and that disappeared. And if you click on it, nothing happens. But if you click on this clock, then the clock shows up. And we are free to move to a different grid view. So let's scroll to the last one, come in here. And I expect now for the first page to not have the clock. So let's go there. And as you can see, nothing happens. Now let's simply place uh, two things here, two apps. Oops. Okay, there you go. 
now the clock again and let's see if we are able to uh, move the clock there we are we aren't expecting it because uh, we have this if in here so let's see if that happens long press click cell already occupied okay that's exactly what we wanted nothing is disappearing from the the drawer so yeah everything is working as it should be and now we are free to move everything around you are free to implement the code to actually drag the, the application i've done it like this because it is uh, way simpler and to make a concept work uh, this would be more than enough but yeah in, in the next lesson we'll probably start working on the settings of the app so being able to set a background image uh, set the, the number of rows the number of columns all of that stuff so yeah uh, we are basically done with the core of the app and the most important things are uh, working just fine so yeah thank you all very much for watching i hope to see you again tomorrow and ciao yeah, yeah, yeah.